Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and I am going to demonstrate how to run a standalone Java application in WebSphere Liberty which accesses a DB2 database using the data source defined in Liberty. Let us start the demo by reviewing the standalone Java application. So we have the JDBC client app.java which is a simple standalone Java application. It is going to do a JNTA lookup and get the database information. Then it's going to create a table, insert a row into a table and then retrieve the data from the table and display it. And at the end, it is going to drop the table which has been created. Now to run this standalone Java application in Liberty, we have to bundle this in a EAR application. Now let us create the EAR application using Eclipse right click click new and then click the application client project and give the project name as jdbc client app and then select the checkbox add project to an eir and then click finish so we have successfully created the application client project now let us copy the our standalone application to that copy so let's copy it under the default package Paste. So we have copied it. So let's remove the main.java which has been created. So let's delete that. And then in our manifest.ml file. So let's change the main class name. So which is going to be JDBC client app. Save the changes. Now let us export this as an AR application. Export AR click next so we'll put it under the demo so we'll give the name jdbc client app.ear and then click finish so we have successfully exported the application client project as an ear application now let us launch a term let us go to the liberty installation folder then we have WIP. so this is where i have installed the liberty client Okay, so now let us get into the build folder and create a client. Client create. Let's create with the name JDBC client. So the client has been successfully created. So now we need to update the client.xml file. Let's get into the clients folder. So here we have the client.xml file. So currently it has only the Java EE client 7.0 information. So we need to add our data source information to this. So already I have a client.xml updated with that information. So let us check that. So here we would need the JDBC driver data source and the application information. So let's copy from this. So we have added the related information which is required for accessing the database from our client application. Okay, so let's save the changes. So here you could see that we have defined the server name as localhost because our DB2 server is running in a local host. So now we need to copy the application, the ER file under the apps folder. So let's go to the apps folder. We don't have any application here. Let's copy it. Documents. And then we have copied under the demo folder. So let's copy it here. So we have copied the EAR application. So now we are ready to start our client. Okay, so let's go to the bin folder. Then we will start our client. Client run JDBC client. So the client is getting started. We could see the status the JDBC client is running, and also we could see it has accessed the database. It has created a student table and it has inserted a row into the table and it has retrieved the data from the table and displayed. So, as part of this demo, you have seen how to run a standalone Java client application which accesses a database using the data source defined in Liberty. Thanks for watching the demo.